Hello guys, welcome to our channel Coding with Karthik. So today this session we are going to create a Node.js server using Express Cleaner. So it is going to be very interesting and please be focused. So if you don't have Node.js in your PC, you can download it from the official website. So here you can find out the latest LTS version and uh, you can download it and install it easily. So after successful installation, uh, in the VS Code or in normal terminal, we can check the node version and also npm version. Let me open the terminal here. So here we can easily check like uh, node version with node hyphen v. So here we can see the node version. I have the version 14.7.6 and also we can check the npm version. So here npm is the node package manager. So uh, we know to install it separately. It uh, whenever we install Node.js, uh, it get automatically get. I mean, uh, it, uh, it install automatically, so we need to install separately. So uh, this npm will be useful to handle all the libraries and packages for our application, or, and also like uh, uh, we can use it to run the application, or or like uh, we have some commands to along with the npm. Okay. So and next, uh, let us create the application now. So let me create one folder. So I'm just giving ms first underscore app. So I'm just entering to that app first app. So now, uh, uh, like uh, if you see any Node.js application, uh, first you, uh, whenever you see the application folder, right? First you see the package or JSON, right? So uh, that is like. Uh, whatever the modules are like uh, what are the modules or libraries are using for that application right so whenever you install that library so whenever you install any library so all those things will update in the uh, that package.json file so that means all the metadata related to the project will be uh, will be updated in the package.json so and that means whenever you install one package so it will update with the along with the library i mean along with the version so we can say the package name and also like it will have some uh, metadata information like uh, a packet, I mean, uh, name, version, and also like uh, we can see the few script uh, uh, script comments. So by that we can use it uh, those things in the production. So that means we can easily start the server using that uh, script command in the package or JSON. And now, uh, so if you want uh, like uh, uh, to create that package or JSON, we can use one command npm init. So here it will ask for the basic information. So it will create with the basic uh, information. So we can update the package or JSON file and we can modify along. I mean, uh, um, like we can update uh, a few scripts or we can update a few things uh, depends on our requirements. Okay. So I'm just keep uh, pressing enter now. So yeah, finally it is asking. Yes. Now if you see this folder you can see this package JSON with the basic information now I said we are going to use the express framework so why framework is like uh, it makes our work very easy so that means uh, uh, let's say if you want to uh, route to some static files like the CSS all those things right so using uh, express it will be very easy to route all the static files so that's why I'm going to use the uh, that's why I'm going to use the express framework and also like uh, um, even for routing like uh, for uh, to handle the post request or get request or to, so, to send the different type of responses so it will be very easy with the express and also like uh, some middleware like uh, some authentication layers or if you want to use some parsing or whatever like a few middle layers right we can easily uh, do with using express and also like uh, there are a lot of uh, middleware libraries for the express so that's why i'm going to use express framework for now and uh, now I'm just creating one file server.js okay so here I'm just going to create uh, uh, node express equal to so require of so and also like first uh, we need to install that express so let me just install that npm install express is getting installed mm -hmm. 
my network is slow, so that way it is getting time, otherwise, it, will, it is just patched in seconds. So now uh, we install this express. Now, if we check the package.json, uh, we can see right. Uh, we can see the new object uh, along with the express. Like uh, um, we can see the uh, new key. Which, like these are all packages. So we have installed that express. So that way it is updated with express along with the version. So and now, so now in the server.js, I just declared one constant with the. I mean, uh, using some required of uh, function. So it is used to import the uh, libraries or modules. Uh, in Node.js, okay. And next, uh, I'm just declaring one more constant app equal to express. App. So basically, this express module uh, it is exporting one top level function. So that's why I'm using this express of to uh, to create the app. Now, uh, so for any server, uh, we have to assign some board to run the application. So for that, I'm just giving app dot laser now. So let me give 3004 and so basically after uh, basically it, um, basically it returns some callback so here I'm just using some arrow function so now console.log of app is run okay and now so that means whenever this app is started on the port 3000 so it just print this statement okay and let me create one route uh, let me create one get request okay app dot getter so let me uh, it is just main route so that's why i'm giving this only slash so here it is also have the same callback request and response objects so request response so console dot uh, so let me just return response dot send of welcome okay so here basically this uh, we are just creating the get request uh, with the main route and here it, it has some callback request and response and uh, so next we are using this response or send to send back the uh, welcome message to the home page so now uh, here you can see that here, here we are just utilizing this response. So the request we can uh, we can utilize if we have the get request have any parameters and also like uh, you propose also like we can get that uh, request body and uh, we can just uh, easily get that information from the request object. Now uh, let me start the server. So uh, I can use node space server dot js the file name. So now it is just app is running so that means uh, the server started so now we can go to the browser and we can check the so we can check uh, home page let me just go to the browser once so yeah see if i open this uh, page at localhost 3000 so we can see this message so that means we are running a 3000 port so that's why i have to go to the localhost um, colon 3000 so by that i can see the welcome message here now let me create one more route uh, so by that you can understand how it works so yeah app dot get up uh, let me just give a home okay so here i'm just again same way request response and we can use arrow function and this and this printing that's from the sender okay and here i'm just restarting there are a few models uh, which uh, like uh, which will restart automatically whenever we make some changes to the code but now i'm just making it uh, manually so in the uh, coming up session i will let you know uh, which are i mean the possible ways to start the server and all those things okay now it is running so again, I'm going to the browser. Okay, here I'll just use that uh, route slash home. So now see here we can see the home message. So that means uh, 
or uh, they can create different routes easily using express and uh, it's also like um, let's say we have the multiple routes so we can uh, create all those routes in separate files and we can just import all those routes using some router functions in express okay so um, uh, that's why uh, I'm, I'm using this express so it is going to be like uh, very easy uh, and also uh, if someone new to the node they can also easily do uh, create the server and do all the routing easily so yeah uh, that's it for this session so in the coming up session i will just uh, go through in detail uh, about all the routing uh, mechanisms and uh, different uh, curved operations and all those things okay and uh, thank you for watching this video please subscribe to our channel coding with karthik and uh, and like uh, please like and share the videos okay thank you for watching the video